Hi, I'm Jake, and today we're going to learn how to degas silicone. The first question we need to ask is why do we even need to do this? Why do we bother? Um, one reason is you want a smooth surface. Whatever details you're trying to capture, you want them to capture those details, not air bubbles. So if this thing was full of air bubbles, these wouldn't be smooth surfaces. They'd be they would have dips and valleys and, and uh, because of the air bubbles that, that were in there. The other thing is, if you're going to use a pressure pot, which this goes in a pressure pot, so uh, if this thing is full of air and I put it in the pressure pot, the pressure pot is going to try to squeeze all these bubbles, so I kind of exaggerate a little bit. So if you put it in the pressure pot and I fill this with resin, let's say it does that. Maybe not that much, but it, it's going to deform because it's going to squeeze the air bubbles that are inside of this and it's going to deform it. So two reasons. If you use a pressure pot, you need to have a, a silicone mold that doesn't have any air bubbles in it. And then if you're trying to catch details on, let's say, a skull or a heart or, a, or whatever it is, you don't want air bubble details. You want the details of the figure that you're trying to duplicate. So that's why we need to degas. Before we get started, I'm going to show you everything you need. When you're using silicone, you're usually wanting to make a copy of something. In this case, I'm wanting to make a copy of this cool wood burl, this uh, maple burl right there. Um, so you need something to copy. You need a mold to make it in. And so I already have that. I have a full video on making this burl, and I'll put a link up there. And then we need some silicone. And today we're going to use Plat 25. This is from Illumilite. I'll have discount code below. Go over there and, and check their stuff out. Uh, this stuff is on the lower end of the hardness scale, so it's going to be more pliable. Uh, you've seen all the, the hooks and, and pointy stuff on that piece of burl. That's, that's why I wanted to get this stuff. Uh, Zach Higgins kind of led me to this particular thing. Um, what we need to know about this stuff is we need 35 minutes, so you need a timer. You got 35 minutes working time, so we need to keep track of that. We need something to mix it in. We need a vacuum chamber set up. This is a super cheap one off of Amazon. I, I got it out of the box, put it together, and tried it. It seemed to work just fine. It is a cheaper one, but what do you need? If, it, if the cheap one works just as good as the expensive one, then, then why spend more money? Uh, we're going to test this out today. Um, I like the price of this thing. There will be links below. And last but not least, we need some gloves and some safety glasses. Um, turn our timer on. This stuff is one-to-one -one by weight or volume, so it doesn't matter. If you want to scale it out, scale it out. If you want to just go by um, the numbers on here, then go for it. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to put, this has a graduated thing, one to ten, and then there's uh, space above that. I'm going to do one of the parts to two, another part to four, and the reason for that is two parts. Silicone sticks to silicone, so if I undershoot it, that's fine. I can make some more and pour on top of it, and I don't want to make a whole bunch, and then if my mold is leaking, leak out all my silicone. Super irritating. So the other part is this stuff, when we get it in the vacuum chamber, it's going to bubble way up. So I want to make sure that I have enough space in here for the bubbles to go. And then once it's done, you'll see while I show you, it's going to come way up and then it's going to go down while it's, uh, when, all, when all the air is out of it. So that's the reason we're going to make a smaller amount for, for a few reasons. One, so we don't leak out of our mold and the other one, so we don't over bubble this, this container. So let's just start mixing it. I'll go ahead and start the timer. We got 35 minutes to mess with this. Um, we're going to use the vacuum chamber, that, but that doesn't mean to try to introduce bubbles into this thing. We're going to mix it slowly. I'll probably mix it for probably at least five minutes straight. We're going to go 
ahead and turn on the vacuum pump and then close this off slowly and, and watch our bubbles and kind of adjust it with this one accordingly. It's already double, so I gotta watch it. I'm kinda getting nervous already. <laughs> so I'm gonna let some air out of this and kinda keep it under control. That's full vacuum right there. You see how it kind of just lowered? It lowered down by itself. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this and let the air out. I think it's already bubble free. I'm gonna leave it there a few minutes. I think whenever it bubbled down the first time, that's when it, it was is already done. And you just uh, hold the vacuum for a little while longer. We'll let it set in here for a few minutes just to make sure everything, if there's any bubbles in there, let it come out on its own. We're at 12 minutes right now, so plenty of time. The other thing we need to do is we need to pour this from as high as we can and have a stream come out and that way it'll work its way down in there and that helps to keep bubbles out too so this thing kind of curves down that way so i'm going to hit right down in there hopefully the camera will see here we go here goes nothing I'm going to do another batch of this, but I don't think I need to do that much. So I'm gonna go half of that. And for the uh, degassing part of this, I'm gonna do half of that. And then hopefully I wanna show you, I'm not sure if I showed it well enough on the first time. So whenever these bubbles come up, whenever it's done, it'll, it'll go back down and I wanna be able to show that good. So I'm gonna mix this up. Nobody needs to see this. Uh, you're gonna see me in the vacuum chamber next time you see me. So here we are again. I hopefully I'll be able to show you better this time. Right there. Right there is where it's it's kind of done. And this stuff, I was pretty impressed. I'm just gonna let it go for a little while and you'll watch all the air bubbles, all the air just leave it and it'll be, it'll be clear. Here it is, they're just, it's about to be gone. All the bubbles are about to be gone. It's done. I'll relieve this vacuum and let it sit for a couple minutes and then we'll pour it and then I'll give you my thoughts on, on degassing. I've used silicones plenty before, but I was always skittish of using the vacuum chamber to degas it. I, maybe I felt like I was going to be in a hurry or it was just one extra thing you had to do and it was intimidating or whatever the case may be. I didn't want to do it like, and I used silicones that you didn't have to degas. Well, uh, Alumilite makes some and I made this out of it and it's just fine, but this doesn't have to flex too much when you're doing something like this that has real intricate details then you want something that has a little more give to it. And if you're going to do that, you're going to need to vacuum, degas it, and come to find out it's not that big a deal. Um, you have plenty of time to do it. 
you guys seen in the video how you know how fast it it, it did it how how I thought it was pretty cool how clear it was and it was very apparent when that when the the air was out of it so um, I think I won't limit myself to the silicone that you just have to that you don't have to degas I'm gonna go ahead and start doing this stuff now and, and it's fun <laughs> all this stuff uh, I'll put links to it below and all that stuff and then uh, if you want to see this blank become a fake burl then go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell and all that stuff and wait for notifications for that one it's too cold to pour right now <laughs> so whenever that comes out and it's warm enough to pour I'll pour it and then uh, and wait for your notifications for it to be ready so y'all be good and uh, we'll see you next time <laughs>